main method and then I'm going to go into data types and what data types are. So the main method is this piece of code here, um, not including what we did before. So I'll just get rid of that. So everything in between this curly brace and this curly brace. So everything here, right now we don't have anything, but that is part of our main method. And basically the main method is, what, what a method is to start off with is um, a set of instructions for the program to um, execute. So if I give an analogy, it might make a bit more sense. So this main, if we think about our day, we do a lot of tasks during our day. We wake up, um, actually we, when, once we break up, our task is to brush our teeth, oops, what's it wrong? Brush our teeth, um, then it would be maybe take a shower, and then maybe go to school, uh, and so on. So that's part of our main method, um, the main tasks that we do uh, within a day, and that's all in between um, this curly bracket and this curly bracket. So that's sort of our workspace and stuff that we do within our main um, within our main tasks. So likewise, um, when the computer boots up, it looks for this main method um, and main tasks that it needs to accomplish because that's what you do when you first wake up in the morning. You go, okay, um, what are my main tasks for today? And then you do those things first. So um, the computer works the same way. It looks for this uh, main and then it does whatever's in here first. So if that's still a little bit unclear, that's okay. There's going to be a tutorial dedicated purely to methods and um, it's still early to really get dive into depth into what methods are, but for now, all you need to know is um, inside this curly brace and this curly brace inside here is the main stuff that we do. Okay, so let's talk about data types. So the way Java works is that, well, if you think about a construction site, for example, there's different materials that make up a building. So you have like um, metal, you have like uh, pipes, um, concrete, and you have different things that make up, different materials that make up the building. And by themselves, they don't really do much, but when you put them together, um, all of these together make a building. Um, programming is kind of the same. You have different um, materials to work with. So you have an int, and I'll talk about each one. You have a double, you have a start char, um, you have a long um, string, and maybe I'll leave it at that for now. Um, the top three, actually, I'll get rid of I'll get rid of this long. The top three are our main ones, and um, the top the four are our main ones, and I'll talk about each one now. So, what an int is, is a number. A number that is um, a whole number. So, int whole. A double is um, a number that with a decimal. Decimal, I think I spelled that right, maybe. And char is um, characters of the alphabet. So, character of Okay, so you're probably thinking, okay, so what's so good about these things? 
basically every time you want to use a piece of material so let's say I'm going to use an algae metal so inside this main method of tasks when you want to start a building um, you actually you want to get some concrete and then you want to lay that first but first you need to tell um, you know, the builder that you want to lay concrete so you what you would say is concrete um, you might want maybe I don't know two tons of concrete so two um, and you want like a bag of concrete named a special brand called um, super concrete so basically what you've done is here is you've said okay I want concrete what's the name of the concrete I'm that's the brand is super concrete and I want two tons of that basically in programming you do the exact same thing what you do is you say I want an int so that's the material so like concrete int is a material and then you say well what's its name and this could be anything it could be um, John it could be Bob you can name it anything um, we're going to name it for now we're going to name it concrete well, we'll keep it super concrete keep it consistent I don't even know if this is how you spell concrete. Might have to Google it. And let's say we're going to stick with two tons. I was going to say two. Okay, I'll just go with the string for now. Double is the same. So double can be metal in this situation. Metal, we want um, metal, and we want to call it, I don't know, um, very strong and we want maybe five and then the same thing double is the same double well not doubly double very strong and this is where it, where it's a bit different actually for metal I should have done this I should have gone 5.4 because metal is a new material um, it corresponds to this number so every time you want to use a whole number you have to use the int material so every time you want to use a whole number every time you want to use a decimal point as your measurement you have to use um, a different material so that's basically um, different materials make up a structure but when you want to use those materials you have to know which one to call and that's what basically what a data type is so here it would be 5.1 or it can be any decimal point so every time you want to use a decimal point you have to use the double material every time you want to use a whole number you use the int material but you have to tell the computer that and you're probably thinking well shouldn't the computer know that if you said 5.8 to use the double material well, in other programming languages that is the case you don't actually need to um, put in them what the material is but in Java you have to do that and char is a, let's call it anything for alpha and this is a bit different because char is a character of the alphabet you put two quote quotation marks and then any letter so one letter and you can only have uh, it's only one letter that's the difference between if you remember before I had a string string more than one equals and with a string you can have multiple, 
multiple uh, characters. And the difference here also is that you have um, you have to put the double quoted marks rather than the single quotation marks there. And then that's it. So that's a quick guide to um, quick guide to writing to understanding uh, data types and this is basically how you write it um, you write the material first the name of it and then the value so every time you want to use a letter of the alphabet then you have to use um, the charm material and so on so I hope you guys like that I'm gonna be going and talking about this a bit further in the next tutorial and talking about how we can actually use these um, materials to make maybe a structure or something like that. Alright, take care, bye.